It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it comes your way next. Philadelphia is known for having some very vocal fans, and nearly 70,000 of them are letting their voices be heard already. Welcome inside Lincoln Financial Field. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they've definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Jake Elliott is out and ready to kick this one away. And we're underway from Philadelphia. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So out have the Falcons for their first possession. And leading them out in his 13th season out of Michigan State is Kirk Cousins. Well over a decade has started in this league, and Kirk Cousins put up some prolific numbers. The thing that's eluded him, despite all the stats, are those playoff opportunities and those marquee postseason victories. I think Kirk, his family, and everybody rooting for him hopes the final chapters of his career will contain some of those. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Straight to the air they go. It's into the hands of Mooney. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They'll run it here with Bijan Robinson. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. They motion the tight end over. First and ten. Here's Cousins. Pitts brings it in. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 31. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Out of the gun, Cousins. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw. It changed its direction. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. On the return, Britton Covey. 
So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, it's not often that we talk about quarterbacks having a nose for the end zone in football. It's usually reserved for the running backs. But Jalen Hurts has changed that conversation. He has so much power, so much strength. You get him into the short yardage situations or around the goal line, he finds a way to get in. But it's not just there. He's got a deep ball that's the envy of many. He's elevated his teammates around him. And he's got a skill set that I know a lot of quarterbacks would sure love to have. First down throwing for Hertz. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly, you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45, Brock, with a new set of downs to boot. First and ten, here's Hertz. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he gets it down to the 35 before stepping out. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football, and once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add-on with those yards. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Campbell going to motion over right. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, look, in the right situation, you catch a team off guard. Well, this could be a tremendous play for some big yards. <laughs> but in the wrong situation, you get hit in the mouth right behind the line of scrimmage. All plays on the table here for third and three. From the pistol, Hurts. And he let his man too much there, Brock. Incomplete, fourth down coming up. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker, Jake Elliott, for the try. Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And we're all tied up now in the first half. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Onto the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Throw reeled in by London. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. First and ten, a run to Robinson. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Oh, 
Shotgun snap now to Cousins. That's brought in by Mooney. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Robinson on the inside give. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. They've got first down from the 31. Let's come in here, Cousins. He'll get this complete to Pitts. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. From the 27. Got a man. It's London. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Falcons into the red zone for the first time. They've got first and 10 from the 20. Throwing his cousins. Into the hands of Pitts. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Now Cousins again. Got it. And that'll be enough for the first as they touch him down. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Throwing it again here. No one open, so he checks this to another county. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, He's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Pressure coming. It's Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons break the tie here in the first. Kyle Pitts with the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Young Hui Ku on for the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Pinion. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now for the second time this game, we're going to look at the Philly offense. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points.
And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. They put a receiver in motion here left. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Can I have a moment, Kate? Just a moment to marvel at how well they reacted to that play on defense. They were all over it from the start, getting behind the line to blow up a play that how many times do we see his highlight reel touchdowns going the other way? On third down, it's Hurts. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 33-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. So that connection for a first will bring us to the end of the first. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to the link right after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and 10. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. They put a receiver in motion right. On first down, Hurts. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted. Jesse Bates in to pick it off. And the Falcons will get possession up towards midfield as they take the interception up beyond the 40. That's so cool. He really did it all for him, didn't he? First, he forced the turnover, and then he set them up in a better spot with a really nice return. Yeah, he had designs on doing the scoring for him, too. One more move, and he might have broken it for six. Onto the field runs the Atlanta offense. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. To the air, Cousins. That one's complete to London. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. They fake the handoff. Now Cousins on him quick, and they bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You're going to go play action, Kate. You've got to sell, sell, sell. If you don't convince that defense you're running it, or if it's a situation where you never run the ball, you really do leave your quarterback dead in the water, vulnerable against the defense who will storm right past that fake and right into that pocket. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Here's Cousins now. 
This is caught inside the 15. So a timely moment for a big play, and they get the first on third and 19. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always got to start your read from the secondary forward. You got to see what the safeties are doing. If you're going to throw a ball in the middle third deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were, and the QB just nailed it. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. He completes it in traffic. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. Second and three now. Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons parlay the interception into points. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. Coup on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away, here's Pinion. To return, here's Paris Campbell. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Goddard makes the catch. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a Philadelphia first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. Bails out of the pocket quick. The ball's out. The ball's out. He lost it. And the fumble recovery is made. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. The Falcons and receiver Darnell Mooney headed out there now. And the turnover puts them right back out there. Just a few plays since they scored that touchdown. Well, they didn't get much time to rest, but guess what, Kate? That defense didn't get much time to rest either. Now you can go in attack mode while they're still shaking off that last touchdown. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's Robinson up the middle. And he'll advance this down to the 38-yard line. It's a solid 70-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Second and three now. From the 38. Short pass caught by his tight end. 
And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. First and ten. Here's Cousins. Oh, try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Darius Slay has it. Well, okay. I guess we've got a couple of very giving teams today, Brock. One side coughs it up with a fumble. Then the other side graciously hands it right back with the interception. Hey, listen. If you like playmaking defenses, then you like this game right here. These defenses, they're the ones supplying the big plays, and they're putting their stamp on this game. The Eagles about set to go on offense. And this drive would be a win if they can just hang on to the football, Brock, coming off those back-to-back -back turnovers. They're out and set. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Hurts. He's got Smith. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Escapes the pocket. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Here's first and ten from the 34. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. Ball on the 45, first and 10. He'll get this one to Brown. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. Hurts now from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. It's the two-minute warning now from the link. It's the Eagles. With it, first and ten. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down throwing for Hertz. Tight end reels in the shallow throw, and he gets it down to the 35 before stepping out. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game when Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Hurts throwing again. And he won't get it there. Defender finds a throw and breaks it up. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Back to throw. Hurts. This is brought in along the sideline. High degree of difficulty for a short game. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. 
And that'll get him back to 11. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Falcons ready for their next possession. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he'll go down. It will say right at the 39-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. First down throw for Cousins. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Couldn't find Kyle Pitts on that throw. And that'll bring up second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. On second and ten, Cousins again. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Now Cousins again. And once again, they can't connect. Lucky that didn't end as an interception. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And the Eagles will take possession. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative. And the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the pistol, Hurts. Quick hitter, complete. And he'll go down, it will say right at the 39-yard line. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing here, Hurts. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. Philadelphia gonna spend its second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half.
First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. On the play fake. It's Hurts. Down the middle. Complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You can go to a Little League field and tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. And he's someone you can depend on to create space and make catches out of it. It's another first half mistake. He's intercepted again. That's Justin Simmons. And the Falcons make the defensive stand and come through with a turnover in the final moments of the half. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've gotten him for picks in this game, and he's got to be careful, right? You've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense, and this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. They've got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he's tackled for a short game. We've reached the midway point of this game. The visiting Falcons taking a lead into that locker room. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Out to kick it away, here's Pinion. Returning it from the four. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts ready to go once more on offense. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Interception, last drive, doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Campbell hauls it in. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. First and ten from the 41. Motioning him from the slot right. On first down, Hurts. Able to get it to Barkley. And he'll get it up to the 44. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner and, really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. On second down, here's Barkley. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. 
First and ten. Here's Hertz. Barkley's got it. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Barkley trying this up the gut. And he's brought down for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. All plays on the table here for third and three. Hurts. Smith pulls this one in along the sideline. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Motion man right is Smith. First down from the red zone. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles cut into the lead coming out of halftime. Dallas Goddard the touchdown. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock. And there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route, just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. Eagles offense staying out there. They're going for two. He's throwing for it! And they get the two-point conversion. Nice catch in the end zone there. They're back within a field goal now. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game, and especially different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon. Ball is set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Here's Avery Williams on the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Falcons and Kirk Cousins headed back out to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw. Cousins. It's into the hands of Mooney. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And the Falcons will have a first. I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you nobody wants to hit you but that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch and he reaches midfield and starts driving into eagles territory good run gets him seven that brings up second and three that does not show up on any explosive stat sheet but let me tell you kate that's the real deal right there you run for that kind of yardage consistently in the nfl 
you do set yourself up for success. From the 46. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. From the gun, it's Robinson. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, Cousins. Along the sideline, and Pitts brings it in. And he's got it down to the 30 before going out. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had to balance focusing on the catch while staying. Nick Sirianni going to have the officials look at this one again. He's throwing that challenge flat. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers for moments like this. He did not have much margin mm -hmm. for error, and it happens oh so fast. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. On the give. Here's Robinson. He gets the first and more inside the 15. And finally, he's down at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. And his extra effort there rewarded with a solid gain. It's a gain of five, and he's just short. So that's third and less than a yard. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. On third and goal, it's Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons push their lead further to start the half. Kyle Pitts with a touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a, a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two scores <laughs> now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Pinion. That's going to be taken in at the eight. 
And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. Well, we all know at this point, turnovers the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on more than one occasion to their benefit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be tough to win football games in spite of, right? But over the test of time, turnovers are the number one thing that cost you games, especially yep. after that first one. Once there's blood in the water, you feel it with the defense. They get all over you trying to force another turnover and another and another. They're out and set, first and ten. Shotgun snap for Hertz. This one finds Goddard. And he gets a small chunk there before he's touched down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Operating from the gun, here's Hertz. Pass complete to Campbell. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a Philadelphia first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throwing for Hertz. Along the sideline, Brown brings it in. And he's going to be at midfield now as he gets out of bounds. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, You'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Second and six coming up here. Hurts throwing again. Hits his man on the out route. And he goes out a little short of the 40. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. As quarterback, when you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. Hurts now from the gun. He's got Smith. And they bring him down around the 34. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 34. That's Smith on the slant. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. So we're through three here. It's the Eagles in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. to throw hurts he'll dump this one off to his running back complete and they have this well into the red zone now at the 15 it's a gain of 12 there and that's good for an eagles first down year after year the best offenses are multifaceted it's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air when you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that man is it difficult on the defense Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Second and three now. Oh, 
Option play. They give it to Barkley. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. A gain of five, Brock, and now they're going to have first and goal. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you could recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Hurts looking to throw. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. Now Hurts. And the defender comes away with it. That's Justin Simmons. Not a lot of one-play swings bigger than that one right there. That throw looked destined for six, and instead, it gets intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned it 100-plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. Here's Atlanta ready to take over possession. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They bring the tight end in motion. First down throw for Cousins. The screen pass falls incomplete. This one intended for the running back. So it's second down coming up. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Throwing again on second and ten. Cousins. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it or, in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. Here they come. This is third and five. Now it's Cousins. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. The Falcons getting ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Went for 48 with his first kick, and this one looks even better. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. So no return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. So it'll be second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Hurts trying again on second down. Barkley's got it. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Running back sent in motion left. Looking to throw on third and one. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. 
You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. They'll run for it with Barkley. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. There wasn't a lot there for him, but he did what he needed to do. Go get that first down. Picked up the short gain, didn't risk a big loss. Looking for a bigger lane elsewhere. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing from the gun. That is caught downfield on the right side. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there, and there's nothing this defense can do. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Hurts. He finds Brown right side. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Second and six now. Taken in by Smith. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Offense up to the line fast. Hurts with it on third and short. Oh, brother, it's another interception. That's Justin Simmons. And the Falcons get it as he makes his third interception in this game. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. Now here come the Falcons on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second down now, seven to go. Staying with Robinson. And he finds him enough room to get it up to the 42-yard line. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Falcons holding a 10-point lead. Third and just two to go. Another carry for Robinson. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 155 to go. Ball on the 45. First and 10. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. And right away we get a timeout from the defense. 1.51 to go.
They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Now the give for Bijan. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Throwing on third, Cousins. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. And they'll take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. Lining up to take an E on second down. So the Falcons will fly home with a win on the road. Man, this one is gonna sting, partner. You pride yourself on defending your building, getting those home victories. Instead, you end up taking a bitter pill today in front of your own fans. Well, as one coach famously said, we're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. That's all these guys could do after giving one up at home. Just look ahead to the next game. Focus on prepping for the next opponent and working your tail off and make up for losing in front of the home crowd by giving your fans something to cheer about the next time out. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.